Uh, we are Shock Therapy Productions. Um, we're a Gold Coast-based uh, arts organisation. I think a lot of our stuff comes from observation. So when you're in that physical setting and you're talking about a creative idea and you're like, there it is, there it is, there, like it's, it, was, it becomes three-dimensional then because you can actually point to those characters and stories and ideas and you're like, this is it, this is the setting, you know? So um, it's nice to be, to actually immerse yourself in it rather than creating in a silo, in a vacuum that's kind of separate to the space where you just go, let's just go there and see if it's gonna work in that space and yeah. You know, and I was very conscious of sort of not coming in with preconceptions or expectations and just listening and um, you know, it's an opportunity to really be in that, in that flow, that creative flow state where you just uh, see what comes out and that takes a certain degree of trust in yourself that you will, you know, you will have a response in the first place. Mm. We often start with research, researchers often, like on any project, it'll be, okay, that's a theme or that's an idea or that's a story or that's a person and we'll go down a rabbit hole in research. I, I was like very conscious not to do any research about here until we got here. So it was like, I, I just didn't want it to taint the way we looked at the place or the project. So obviously knew where it was and had some very minimal um, interaction with the place over the years of just living and growing up on the Gold Coast. But, but yeah, it, since now that we've gone down uh, the kind of specific history, um, and place and people and characters, then all these like nuggets of gold start emerging. So definitely lots of, lots of interesting stories. Some of those have come sprung out of people we've chatted to over the course of the week. Um, and others have sprung out of our own digging. Creativity for me comes in, in waves and, and there's the, you kind of get these moments of, of like where you get creatively inspired. And, and I think when you're around a group of artists who are all riding that wave at different times, you kind of, if you're not feeling it yourself and you feel it stuck, I just wander in. And when she said a few things at the beginning of the week about going, kind of experimented with lengths of time and two weeks seems good. And I sort of get that. Like I feel that now that we're in it, I'm like, yeah, I agree with that. I can see why two weeks is good. The, the not putting, intentionally not putting any parameters or too much framework but yet enough enough events kind of sprinkled throughout that two weeks to go you can kind of come and go as you please do whatever you want but we're having a lunch on this day and we're meeting with the council and we're going to the library on those days is kind of like structurally really good it gives you these kind of landmarks to work towards mm. and it's you know deliberately forced us to have a sense of community with the other artists so that you're not if you had too much time in isolation then I think as artists, we would all just become hermits a bit or could run the risk of that, but we've been forced to connect. So yeah, it's, cle it's clever. It's a very clever model. It's the first time we've worked in this particular type of residency in this style. So it's really, yeah, it's exciting and getting a lot out of it.